you know I had to give some love to this offensive line. I feel like we've been forgetting about how good of a job these guys have been doing as a unit. You know, a couple of times, you know, you might see Panay Sewell struggle here or there with those rookie growing pains. Uh, you might see um, Matt Nelson, you know, get blown up every now and then. But these guys were fighting, and I love it. Um, inside here, I want to put a highlight on Big V, who has been – Big improved for the Detroit Lions offensive line. And 63. Now, I'm sorry, guys. I have no idea who 63 is. Hold on. Detroit Lions number 63. I have no idea who he is. Evan Brown, okay? So, 63 is Evan Brown. He's going to come in, step into this game to replace Frank Ragnow. And there are three things I noticed about this play, okay? Uh, great job by 63. Hell of a job by Vitae. And anybody talking about trading DeAndre Swift is crazy. Um, his vision is off the charts. So here we go. We'll get KJ Hawkinson in motion. We got two guys uh, not split out. Uh, two guys tight. Two receivers tight to the left side. Again, this is when Detroit wins. I'm not just saying this to make it up. This is when Detroit wins a lot of his reps. They just want to spread it out. I don't know what is wrong with these people. Jared Goff is your quarterback. Keep everything tight. Keep it all play action. Use those backs to their advantage. Um, just see if they're in man coverage with TJ. He's going to Go in motion, go back, and he's going to come back, hit this hole on this draw play. First, what's very important here is Big V has to turn this guy, okay? If this guy comes off the line and gets inside of Big V, this entire play is blown up, all right? So let's look at it again, all right? So Big V is going to win big, all right? You're going to see 72. If he lets this guy inside, it's over. But luckily for him, it's a wide alignment. This is a perfect play against this. You see we got a lot of room inside of those uh, tackles. Now, Solo, turn. You see how he gets his body turned? 63 is going to help him. He's going to seal. Now, 63 has to get up to this linebacker here. I think that linebacker is Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith, I mean, Roquan Smith should, theoretically, he should dominate Evan Brown, right? No, Brown, powerful. Look at the kick. Look at the way, look at the way Roquan Smith's helmet pops up. And then you see Big V has him turn. That creates this huge lane. But the lane, whoo, closes. So, Big V Powell drives this guy into the ground. Matt Nelson does a good enough job of keeping this guy out of the play without holding. And DeAndre Swift's able to find the second hole at the drop of a dime and get upfield to get some good yardage. This needs to be our offense, ladies and gentlemen. This needs to be what we do. Let's attack this thing. I know we might not have all of our guys, but hey, I like Evan on this. Pop. That is some pop. That is a turn. Going to create this hole. I mean, we 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 were hard on Big V. Is people still talking about getting better Big V right now? Why? Why? We have plenty of cap space next year. Listen, all you guys talking about trading Taylor Decker, get rid of Big Why? <laughs> this is the bad year. This is the down year. Stop panicking. Let's just get through it, okay? We're going to have a strong right tackle in Panacea Well, a dominant left tackle in Taylor Decker. We're going to have a damn good right guard in Big V if he keeps playing like this. And you know what Frank Ragnar and Jonah Jackson is going to do. Stop trying to sell the whole <laughs> – stop trying to sell your, your, your veggies before you even harvest them. Like – Jesus, like let let's let them go, let them blossom. You know, and you got guys, you got guys. Just run it through here, man. This offensive line is going to be tremendous. We're going to have plenty of cap. We already have plenty of drive picks. We got three extra compensatory picks. We got plenty of picks. But I just want to say, man, this this offensive line is the strength, and I think we need to stop talking about breaking it up. These guys are doing a damn good job. There's no reason to go get more rookies on this offensive line or somebody else's trash. I like what we got. I honestly do. I like what we got. Matt Nelson's proven to good be a be a good backup, and we might see if sixty three got some more of this left in him. But that is a great block. Enjoy this video. Well, if so, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because I would hate for you to miss any other other film sessions that we got coming on later in the week or any of the other film sessions we got from any of the games we got this year, man.